of the last two secretaries of state were almost pro forma because people understood uh, where they were on issues. Look, uh, coming to this secretary of state position is a very, uh, you know, impressive individual that has done business all over the world, has run a 70,000 uh, person organization. The State Department has 75,000 people, uh, knows many of these leaders up close and personal. So, you know, somebody's going to be coming to the table that certainly understands the world. Uh, the questions people are going to have, though, are what are his views? They understand that he's going to be carrying out Trump's foreign policy not his own if he's going to be successful, but they also know that up under the hood he's going to be uh, giving guidance to the president as they shape policy and people are going to want to understand what that is. So my guess is that he's a savvy guy. He'll handle these issues uh, well. My understanding is he, he's thinking about making some home visits right now. Mm -hmm. You know, we're out of session. He's may visit people uh, in their own towns. We'll see what we'll see what happens. But my guess is uh, he'll certainly be w well prepared. Do you have concerns about his relationship with Putin to the extent he has one? Well, look, I, I don't hold it against someone that they have relationships. Um, I do think you've got a situation here. We have a president coming in who uh, is focused on, quote, prolific deal making. And the norms that have created the alliances that we've had, for instance, in Europe over the last 60 or 70 years, um, they're being upset to a degree. And so um, I think people, rightly so, want to understand uh, how he's going to coach the president as it relates to issues uh, relative to Russia. Look, this. Uh, uh, you know, the, what's happening right now in Syria and other places, uh, uh, Assad, as you know, has, has, has been brutal. Russia's been involved in that, uh, what they've done in eastern Ukraine, how they're threatening the Baltics, how they systematically have destabilized Europe. I mean, those are issues that matter to all of us. That's what we do on a daily basis. And he's got to be in a position to share with us uh, how he will be, uh, what his views on those kind of things are. There's no doubt he's a qualified person. People are going to want to know what are his views on these issues and other issues in the Middle East and around the world. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.